Miromitab CD3, Wikipedia article audio. Miromitab CD3 is an immunosuppressant drug given to reduce acute rejection in patients with organ transplants. It is a monoclonal antibody targeted at the CD3 receptor, a membrane protein on the surface of T cells. It was the first monoclonal antibody to be approved for clinical use in humans. History Indications Pharmacodynamics and Chemistry Adverse Effects Contraindications Etymology Muromatab CD3 was approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration in 1985, making it the first monoclonal antibody to be approved anywhere as a drug for humans. In the European communities, it was the first drug to be approved under the Directive 87-22-EWG, a precursor of the European Medicines Agency centralized approval system in the European Union. This process included an assessment by the Committee for Proprietary Medicinal Products, and a subsequent approval by the national health agencies, in Germany, for example, in 1988 by the Paul Ehrlich Institute in Frankfurt. However, the manufacturer of Muromatab CD3 has voluntarily withdrawn it from the United States market due to decreased utilization. Current OKT3 supplies are expected to be exhausted by mid-2010. Muromatab CD3 is approved for the therapy of acute, glucocorticoid-resistant rejection of allogeneic renal, heart and liver transplants. Unlike the monoclonal antibodies basiliximab and daclizumab, it is not approved for prophylaxis of transplant rejection although a 1996 review has found it to be safe for that purpose. It has also been investigated for use in treating T-cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia. T-cells recognize antigens primarily via the T-cell receptor. This receptor needs various CO receptors to function, one of which is CD3. The T-cell receptor CD3 complex transduces the signal for the T-cell to proliferate and attack the antigen. Muromatab CD3 is a murine monoclonal IgG2A antibody which was created using hybridoma technology. It binds to the T-cell receptor CD3 complex on the surface of circulating T-cells, initially leading to an activation but subsequently inducing blockage and apoptosis of the T-cells. This protects the transplant against the T-cells. After application of Muromatab CD3, normal T-cell function is said to be restored within a week. When administered for transplant induction, the drug is administered daily thereafter for up to seven days. Newer monoclonal antibodies in development with the same mechanism of action include atlixizumab, teplizumab, and vizilizumab. They are being investigated for the treatment of other conditions like Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, and type 1 diabetes. Further development of teplizumab is uncertain, due to one-year data from a recent Phase 3 trial being disappointing. Especially during the first infusion, the binding of muromatab CD3 to CD3 can activate T cells to release cytokines like tumor necrosis factor and interferon gamma. This cytokine release syndrome, or CRS, includes side effects like skin reactions, fatigue, fever, chills, myalgia, headaches, nausea, and diarrhea and could lead to life-threatening conditions like apnea, cardiac arrest, and flash pulmonary edema. To minimize the risk of CRS and to offset some of the minor side effects patient experience, glucocorticoids, acetaminophen, and diphenhydramine are given before the infusion. Other adverse effects include leukopenia, 
as well as an increased risk for severe infections and malignancies typical of immunosuppressive therapies. Neurological side effects like aseptic meningitis and encephalopathy have been observed. Possibly, they are also caused by the T-cell activation. Repeated application can result in tachyphylaxis due to the formation of anti-mouse antibodies in the patient, which accelerates elimination of the drug. It can also lead to an anaphylactic reaction against the mouse protein, which may be difficult to distinguish from a CRS. Except under special circumstances, the drug is contraindicated for patients with an allergy against mouse proteins, as well as patients with uncompensated heart failure uncontrolled arterial hypertension or epilepsy. It should not be used during pregnancy or lactation. Muromatab CD3 was developed before the WHO nomenclature of monoclonal antibodies took effect, and consequently its name does not follow this convention. Instead, it is a contraction from Murine Monday a clonal NTIBOD targeting CD3.